Hi students, it's me, Raj Dayu, Professor of Mathematics. Today I'm going to explain all those questions which has appeared in the different entrance exams in different countries regarding to the topic derivative of sine inverse x. So today I'm going to explain how you can take the derivative of sine inverse x. The formula of the derivative of the sine inverse x is 1 over 1 minus x square square root and the derivative what is the value inside the sine inverse x okay what is the restriction on this x we have a restriction on this x x should be lying between minus 1 and 1 remember students sine inverse x can also be written as arc sine x which is the same meaning Okay, the first question which I am going to explain which has appeared in different exams. Let's go. Y is equal to E log arc sine 3x. So what is the derivative of this function? Okay, this is equal to E log sine inverse 3x which is equal to sine inverse 3x students you just take the derivative of this quantity and you have studied about the formula how you can take the derivative of sine inverse x as i have written there okay the derivative of this quantity will be 1 over 1 minus Square of this term, 3x, that is 9x square. Okay. And the derivative of this term, take the derivative of 3x. So 3 is a constant quantity, it will become outside from the derivative. And what is the derivative of x with respect to x? It will be 1 over 1 minus 9x square, square root, and 3. So, this is your required answers. An important question which has appeared in different entrance exams. What is the derivative of sine inverse into cos into pi by 2 minus x? Okay, now I am going to solve this question. Derivative of d of dx sine inverse. Okay, I will simplify this expression using the allied angle formula. Okay, you can see here pi by 2 is an odd multiple. So, cos will be changed using the co-ratio method into sine and angle will be here x and sine will be positive because this angle is lying in the first quadrant and in first quadrant all the trigonometric ratios always positive. So, cos pi by 2 minus x is equal to sine x. Okay, now I have used here the composition formula composition method so sine inverse and sine will be eliminated and the remaining term just is x so the derivative of x with respect to x is 1 so this has appeared in different address exams one of the most important question which has appeared in different countries address exams what is the derivative sine inverse x into 1 minus square root x square plus square root x into square root 1 minus x square okay students you have a formula sine inverse a plus sine inverse b which is equal to sine inverse into a square root 1 minus b square plus b into 1 minus a square using this formula you can compress this term you can write above expression y is equal to sine inverse okay there is x and b is square root x so i am going to compress this term in this form so a will be x and b will be plus sine inverse and b will be square root x 
So this expression become now sin inverse x plus sin inverse square root x. You just take the derivative dy over with respect to the variable x. What is the derivative of sin inverse x? That is 1 over 1 minus x square and 1 because here x is the quantity inside the sin inverse x. The derivative of x is 1. Okay. Plus, what is the derivative of sin inverse square root x? It will be 1 minus square of this term will be just x. And what is the derivative of square root x? Okay, it can be written as raised to power 1 by 2. You can use here power formula 1 minus x square okay, plus 1 over 1 minus x. The derivative of this 1 by 2 square root x. So, this is your answer. Important question which has appeared in so many address exams like PPSC and CSS in different countries as well. What is the derivative of sin inverse x minus cos inverse 1 over x? So, the derivative of this term simply is 0 because in inverse trigonometric function, sin inverse x is equal to cos inverse 1 over x. So, when both terms are equal, it means here they will be cancel each other and the remaining term will be 0. And the derivative of 0 always 0. Hope you like this video. Please like, subscribe and comment my videos. Thank you very much.